Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you're doing wonderful. In this video, we are going to see about instant and static attributes. So what are the properties of instant and static attribute? Then what is the difference? Let me go to the slide. So whenever you involve any technical discussion, this is a common questions from the OO ABAP perspective. What is the difference between instant and static attribute? So we are going to see the base property of each for instant and static then it's very simple to form a difference between these two attributes so the first one is um, very basic rule about instant and static all the left hand side um, definitions are applicable for instant attribute and the right hand side all for static attribute so instant attribute it defines a specific state of an object so if you have a three object and each one has its own state but if you come to static it is a common state of the, of a class so for the class if you create like three uh, objects all the three is going to share the common state of the class okay um little more clarification on this state this statement as here i have a variable called material in a class it's an instance material or instance attribute i can say very technical term simply i can say it's a variable okay so it's an it's a created as an instant variable or instant attribute and i'm going to access this um, variable with okay i'll go with the terminology i'm going to access this instant attribute with three different objects so what happens is it has its own state it has its own state and it has its own state so the o1 is assigned a value of material is one and if o2 is going to access the material after this assignment it it, it is not going to receive the same value because these are three different states okay very simple uh, understanding is three different memory or the three, three different places it has okay so uh, it has a three different state and uh, whatever you assign it's only applicable for that object so that is the base rule of instant attribute if you come to the static attribute it is going to have everything in one place or common state so whether you're going to apply um, access by different objects or a class is going to give the same value for each access right so o1 is going to assign a value of one and o2 o3 is going to access this static attribute you will receive the same value because this is a static attribute it has a common state so this is a base rule of instance attribute and static attribute few more so the declaration level you can see data is a keyword to declare the instance variable okay, instant attribute and uh, static is nothing but class iphone data so class iphone data is the is the keyword which is going to use to declare a static variable and memory if you memory perspective maybe whatever we discussed in the previous slide is related to this memory is allocated for every instance or every object so that is the reason once you assign a value by an object and the second time if you are if you access the same instant attribute for a different object you won't get the same value because every object is going to allocate with a different memory for instant attribute but here memory is once once the memory is allocated the same value the same place whatever or whoever is accessing the static attribute the values or assigning or distributing from that memory so you will get always the same value for a different object even for a class as well okay and in the methods what are the restrictions in method level so here can be directly called only in instance method meaning i have an instance method so this is a uh, class and i created a method as instance method uh, in the declaration level and here i'm trying to access or i'm trying to access the instance and static variable this is an instant variable this is a static variable probably i didn't show you the declaration but that's what i declared so i'm accessing without any object directly i'm accessing it it's not a problem i'm talking about now instance attribute so instance attribute can be accessed without any object okay in the instance method only but if you come to a static it can be directly called both instant and static method if you see uh, the instance attribute in an instance method you don't want you, you don't want any object but if you see the instance attribute in a static method you need an object so directly you are not able to access or use the instance attribute inside the static method that is the point here can be directly called only in the 
instance method not in the static but static is can be called in both even instance method i can call the static without any object or a class name and the same thing can be done in static method also so this is the restriction in the method level same thing is applicable for constructor also so constructor is nothing but a special method right so here also same thing so i have a instant constructor i have a static constructor so here instant constructor i can call the instance in static directly but in the static constructor you can if you want to call an instant attribute you need an object but static can be called directly in an instant constructor as well as static constructor so these are the very basic thing about instant and static variables and its properties so now you have a clarity about uh, the properties of instant and static then you can form a difference very easily okay then anything else no nothing so thank you so much hope this video will be useful for you see you in the next video and thank you so much for your time bye